Hey, what's up, guys? It's Cody back here once again for another classic horror review. And for tonight's review, I'm going to be talking about a movie that I've heard a lot of people talk about on YouTube. Pretty much all of my favorite uh, YouTubers have talked about this movie. And um, for some reason, I just never, uh, I never popped it in and watched it. I actually bought this movie uh, sometime last year. And I just never, like I said, it's never uh, popped it in until one day, a couple nights ago, actually, I was just uh, in my movie room trying to find something to watch. And uh, I wanted to watch something new, and I just finally decided to pop the movie in. And um, I've heard so many great things about this movie, so my, I had a lot of good, uh, you know, I had a lot of expectations for this film. And I must say, it did not, uh, I was not disappointed with this movie. But the movie is The Changeling, which is uh, which stars George C. Scott and Trish Van Dever. And like I said, I've heard a lot of uh, things about this movie. Um, I actually uh, uh, I actually posted a picture of this uh, of this movie um, on in, on my Facebook profile and several uh, horror Facebook groups that I'm in. And everybody that commented on it talked about how suspenseful it was, how it was you know how uh, the, it was a great ghost story, uh, how it was fa flawless, somebody said it was flawless, and um, I must say, this is probably one of the creepiest and most suspenseful movies that I think I have ever seen, I was really, really, uh, I was really impressed with this movie, it was, you know, like I said, suspenseful, creepy, it was a great, it had a lot of great mystery to it, and it had a lot of great uh, characters, just everything about this movie was really good, but um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and give my brief description of the film, and then I'll tell you guys uh, more about what I thought of it. So basically, uh, George C. Scott plays um, John Russell, and um, John Russell is an esteemed, uh, he's an esteemed composer, and he's uh, an alumni, and he's, um, you know, he's really well known, and like I said, composing and, and everything like that, and he had just uh, got a job in Chicago at a, um, at a university, uh, teach in a teaching an advanced uh, music class. Um, well, at, a few months before that, about four months before this, however, his wife and his daughter were actually killed um, on an icy road. Um, a truck uh, swerved off the icy road and basically ran them over. So you know, the movie begins with him having this sort of tragedy, and over the past four months, he's just you know. He's just been sort of down in the dumps, you know, being really depressed over losing his daughter and and his wife. Um, and that sort of comes into play. Well, as he says in the movie, he wants to sort of make something of himself and come back and start working again. And so he ends up uh, getting a job in Chicago at, like I said, at, a, at this university, being the, um, you know, the advanced uh, music teacher. And um, now his character, he you can really tell that he's a very, he, um, he's, uh, he's got a really great sense of humor. Um, even in the first uh, scene when he's in his class, you know, he's getting all of his all of his students that are in his class. He's making them all laugh, you know, and he seems to have a really great sense of humor. He's an all around, uh, just an all around nice guy, but um, you know, he's also very um, elegant. Um, at the beginning of the movie, he's talking to two of his colleagues, and you know, they're they're really happy that he's there, and he ends up mentioning to them that. Um, uh, well, not 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 colleagues. Uh, just two people that he worked with, that he's worked with for uh, um, uh, a while, it seems. And um, like I said, he's talking to them, and while he's talking to them, he's, he's saying that he really has no place to a uh, place to go, because he actually just moved moved from uh, New York to Chicago, so he really has no place to stay there while he's working at the university. And the woman that uh, that is there that he's talking to um, actually said that she has a friend that works at the Historical Preservation Society, and she suggests that they might be able to get a house for him. And um, and then in the next scene, you actually see him standing outside of the house that he's going to be in. Um, you're also introduced to the uh, to uh, Trish Van Dever's character, um, and her name and her name is Claire. And she has been with the uh, Historical Preservation Society for about a year. And she introduces him to the house. Now this house um, is very, very run down. You know, she says that um, no one's been in it over the past 12 years. And that the society really hasn't tried to sell it. 
or you know no one's really wanted to live in the house but it's a really really it's a great big house um there's a shot of it right there if you guys can see that but it's uh like i said a really big house um pretty much all the furniture that was in the house when people moved in are still there there's a piano um you know it, it's very elegant inside but of course you know it's covered in dust and dirt there is also a man that you know uh it, that gets paid to work there mr tuttle is his name and so basically at the beginning uh you know throughout the beginning of the movie you know john you know he moves in and he starts orchestrating things on the piano and just playing around and he's he's pretty happy to have a you know a nice quiet place to uh you know to work um of course he continues to think about his wife and his daughter and at one point he's laying in his bed crying over it and while he is crying he starts to hear these really loud banging noises and he has no idea where they're coming from and um he ends up talking to some of the people that work on the house and they just think that it's mar it's probably you know the uh I don't know, it's just the house sort of settling in, uh, as they say, it's just an old house, you know, don't take any, uh, don't take any notice of it, you know, but as it goes on, things start to get, starts getting stranger and stranger. Um, at one point when he's going through the house, he ends up finding this, uh, this doorway that is being blocked by uh, a couple of shelves, and he tears off the, uh, the shelves and ends up getting into that, into the room. And he finds all these uh, weird things. Um, at one point, he finds this really small uh, wheelchair, which is actually what you can see in the film. Uh, I mean, on the on the cover right here, he finds this old wheelchair. He also finds this little uh, music box, and inside the music box, it plays a, a tune. And what's very strange about this is that a couple of days before this, he actually played the tune on the piano for the first time and recorded it. And so he's very, so he's very, you know, he's wondering, you know, well, if I just, you know, if I just created that tune, then how can it be in this music box? It must have been popular at some point in another time, or else it wouldn't be on this music box. He also finds this diary, uh, which was done by uh, a boy from 1909, and uh, from that point on, he begins uh him and claire begin researching the house and like i said claire you know no one is telling her anything about the house um except for the woman that she's working for and she t tells them about a fellow that there used to be a man and uh a man that used to own the house uh back in 1920 and from that point on they end up going back and discovering the secrets of the house and that's pretty much all i want to give away about this movie now my own inner thoughts of this, I love this movie. It was very suspenseful. Um, this is actually a very slow burner. It takes a while for things to get in, uh, for things to actually start happening. But what it does, it is a very suspenseful movie, very creepy elements. You know, it just has a, a, a really creepy atmosphere throughout the entire film. And um, it's a really, really good, really, really good thriller. Um, like I said, it takes a while to get into it, but I actually really enjoyed the. Re uh, I actually really enjoyed waiting on something to happen because you know you really got to know the character of John and of the, uh, you know, uh, his friend Claire. Throughout most of the film, you you got to know their characters, and so when things start happening to them, you start to feel more for them. And I really, you know, I, I know I've said this before, but it's just. It, it just seems like that every single new movie that's coming out, there's always got to be like a jump scare or something every like 10 or 15 minutes throughout the whole movie. You know, this movie was made back in a time when building things up and letting them come out slowly was really effective. And I think that that's, a, that's the way that you should do it. You know, you should l make your audience wait on something to happen. And then when it finally does, it's a much better shock to them. And that's one, that's one thing why I love uh, movies, horror films from the 70s, and that's one thing I really enjoy about this one, because, you know, it took a while for things to get into it, you got to know all the characters, and then when some things started happening, they started, you know, they started to become really, really creepy, and it was a lot more effective. So, yeah, like I said, very creepy, very suspenseful movie, um, great acting, great atmosphere, um, really good music in it as well. Um, if you have not seen The Changeling, I definitely recommend it. If you're a fan of, like, really great um, thrillers, uh, you know, great ghost stories, you know, mysteries, then this is definitely one movie I definitely recommend everyone to check out. 
I'm pretty sure a lot of people in the horror community have seen this, but if you have not, I highly recommend The Changeling. Well, anyway, guys, that was my quick uh, review on The Changeling. Um, if you guys have seen The Changeling, definitely let me know what you guys think about it. You know, leave me a comment. Um, and, um, yeah, so thanks for watching. I'm sure to be doing more uh, classic horror reviews um, over the next uh, week. And I'm also going to start getting away from horror and start doing more reviews on other types of films. But, um, anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching. And definitely check out The Changeling.